Desktop computers can go on for many years without requiring maintenance. However, it is recommended to clean a computer every once in a while, perhaps every year, to make sure the computer runs optimally. This is how you clean a Dell Optiplex 380. Turn off your computer and unplug everything from behind. Then, locate this tab and push it. The side panel should come out. For today, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a paintbrush, some tissue paper perhaps, and optionally some thermal paste or thermal compound. So using the brush, I will loosen up all the dust and uh, and just like sweep it, like sweep it to uh, one area of the case. And I'll also use the brush to dislodge any dust that may be in here. Then I will take the optical drive out. I'll pull this tab out. Then I'll push the optical drive back. This flips over. And it gives me more of the hardware. I can even unplug the optical drive with the just two cables plugged into it and it's going to put it aside. You can flip the computer over to the side and then make it easier to brush out all the dust out of the computer. Once you have removed all the dust as much as you can, take your screwdriver and unscrew the two screws located at the side of this black square. Remember to anti-clockwise uh, to loosen it. And this is where you will find the most dust in this computer. You may need to pull it a bit and then it should go back. And now this is where you can see there's a lot of dust confined within this black box. And there's also going to be a lot of dust in the fan. Oops. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of dust in the fan. And to remove the fan, because that's something you want to do as well. And uh, this is the part where I would recommend you actually doing it outside. But let me show you a close up. So, the fan. So, yeah, do you see how dusty this is? So, yeah, it's very dusty. And what you want to do, this is a bit of a tricky part, so just bear with me. So what you're going to do is pull this tab back and then this whole thing So you push the tab back and then you wiggle this fan out and then You also want to unplug it here to just uh, there's going to be a little tab we need to push back You can pull up and then this thing just Locking it back and forth Should be able to be removed and then you can clean it. Look at how dusty this thing is. It is absolutely caked in dust. So there, this metal grill you want also clean. Look at how dusty this is. Super dusty. Check this out guys. Yeah, so you really don't want to have dust in your computer because your computer may overheat and overheating is never a good thing. You can also just pull this out actually and help with the cleaning fast.
So this thing here is the CPU, the central processing unit, and this is our heatsink. Now metal to metal is not good, and that's why there's this weird thing in the bottom and on here. Now this is thermal paste, a thermal compound, and over the years it can become dried out, ineffective, and while you may not have a tube of uh, thermal paste like what I do have here, thermal compound, it come in tubes, uh, while well, you may not have one, you may try to reuse it, but uh, now that you've you know you've already gone to the extent of cleaning out all the dust, you might as well replace the thermal compound. So these can be had for really cheap. You can get like no brand ones for like five ringgit off the internet. Seriously. So as you can see, this is really old. As you can see, I don't. They they, they just come in. They like falling down. They should not be falling down. So yeah, you really just want to use a tissue paper, clean it up. You can see the central processing unit here is a. Intel Core 2 Duo Processor. Wow, fast, right? And then same thing here. Uh, if it, you just want to clean up all this dirt. Uh, you just want to clean all this up. Get rid of all this old stuff. Should be nice and shiny. And then you can put new thermal paste. So. Uh, to do that, so you've cleaned out the computer, it's all nice and clean, you know, all the dust has been um, loosened up so it will flow, and it's gotten out of the trash heap, you clean all this up, so it's gonna, thing. we're gonna clean up the case here as well, look at how dusty this table is from all the dust that we've been kicking around, but it's alright. So what you want to do is apply thermal paste, so unfortunately it seems as I'm, I'm out of thermal paste while I so provided you have the right amount of thermal paste that is clean up so you basically want to write about a, uh, a grain of rice then you can assemble back the black cover and the heat sink before that we're going to need to put the fan back and this is where it's a little challenging so you want to you know there's some tabs at the bottom here so you just want to like wiggle it into place until you can get the tabs in the correct place This will take some uh, wiggling, there is no correct method honestly. There's just going to be a lot of wiggling until you can get the tabs seated into the case again. Just like that, and then you can push this back, and it's in. You can plug the wire back in, and then you can, um, you can, you can then, okay, then you can put this in. And just like that, and then you can do this. And then you've got an Optiplex 380 that's been, it's going to perform like the factory fresh, okay? Factory fresh. Enjoy your new computer.